spacious. I don't have to cram everything onto a six foot table. So cute. Someone asked me if Zura was supposed to be running the opposite way on purpose and I was like no I actually had him flipped like this at first but I think someone had like flipped to see the design and left him like that and I have had him running the opposite way ever since because I think it's so funny because he's constantly lost and now it is a marketing tactic. <laughs> which is really short compared to like other Fridays at con other conventions I've done but that meant that I could come set up today instead of setting up yesterday on Thursday. We weren't given any instructions at all concerning loading so if I had not done the event last year and knew people who knew where to go like which parking structure to park at and where to pick up your badge and stuff I don't think I, I would have been super super lost so that's like something to be, keep in mind if you're doing this event give yourself extra time it is your first time to figure out where parking is and where to go pick up your badge because like we were given no information regarding that they have also increased the price of parking to $30 this year it was $25 last year which already was pretty hefty but now it's 30 and we're here for three days that's 90 dollars for three days of parking which like i'm not surprised because we are in la but it's still like ouch you know and they ran out of exhibitors badge when i came to pick up my badge today so i am industry for this event I mean, it works, but I was really hoping for one that said, that said exhibitors though. Since I do, I do keep my badges and I have like a little box, like a little collection of them. Here is $5 each. And your print is inside the bag. Thank you so much, have a good one. We are about three hours into the convention. So far, it's definitely pretty slow. Like I know it's a Friday, but compared to other Fridays I've had, it is definitely on the slower side. But it's okay. I think majority of the attendance is on Saturday and Sunday anyways. So we're still hoping that it really picks up tomorrow. I am participating in a stamp rally this year. It's one piece like holiday Christmas themed. We were just gonna make it one piece themed, but we changed our mind last minute and then it turned into a Christmas design since the event's taking place in December. This is the exclusive sticker sheet people will win if they collect all of our stamps. Also Christmassy themed. It turned out so cute. I have learned how effective stamp rallies can be in increasing your sales. So I'm really excited to see how it helps our sales this year because I got a whole bunch of new One Piece merch and since the stamp rally is One Piece themed, I'm really hoping that that's going to help push our sales for this event as well. I got my One Piece spinner pin in time for this event. Oh, and I can focus. We have the straw hats running and in the back it's like the story of how their crew was formed and just like important motifs. So we have like the orange and mommy's tattoo, the goat Mary, and then that was when he first met Zoro. The idea originally came to me as a spinning enamel pin design, but I ended up liking how it came out so much that I ended up using components of it to make other merch as well. 
I reused the design as an art print sticker sheet and some acrylic charms. We use your designs for other products. You can only draw so much and so fast as an artist, so we're smarter, not harder. This is also great to give people different product options. Some people could really like the design that you have, but maybe they don't like enamel pins, or maybe the price point of a pin is too high for them, and maybe they like acrylic charms instead, or maybe they just prefer a sticker sheet or an arm print because it's more within their budget. So having a variety of options with the same designs or components of the same designs can end up helping you make more sales. Someone came by and just told me that I look exactly like my logo or like my card, which like, it makes me really happy to hear because like in theory, yeah, that's my goal, right? But look at her, she's so cute and you recognize her as me. Why, thank you. It is around 8 p.m. We have an hour left of the convention and honestly, it's been really slow. I haven't made back my expenses yet, which is really, really rare. Like that rarely ever happens. I'm really confident about making up all my expenses within the first day, but we have not made back our table today yet. I am really hoping that it picks up tomorrow and Sunday. It is day two of LA Comic Con. There was so much traffic getting into the convention center today. But that's good news because that means there's a lot of people here. We're about two hours in right now and it's still really slow for a Saturday. There was a really big crowd in the front when I came in the morning, but you know, it's like not translating into sales. So it's been slow. Thank you so much, have a good one. So that'll be 12 total. And you have the stamp uh, card, right? Yeah. I did card from you before. Have you? guaranteed an anime loving crowd helps with your sales as well. I did this event last year and sales Friday for me this year were like not as good as last year's Friday. The rate that it's going on Saturday like today it's kind of on par with last year's performance which is really surprising because my inventory has grown a lot since um, last year's event. So usually the trend is to see your numbers grow once your catalog grows because you have more options and variety of merch to offer people. So an increase in sales is to be expected. So I'm like a bit surprised 
this year, but you know, like event changes year to year, so you can never really expect the same outcome. Ooh! Whoops. Please, I can't do this with one hand. It is the last day of LA Comic Con. I came early today to avoid terrible parking. You can also walk around to check out um, the rest of Artist Alley. What? Oh. <laughs> oh We're in here together. Oh I got coffee from Shimima. It's from one of my favorite Vietnamese coffee places in OC. It is around 1 p.m. right now. We have four hours of adventure left to go. Sales numbers today are looking a bit better than Friday's. Which ones did you get last year? Oh, the skate ones? Yeah, those are discontinued, that's why. <laughs> no, I'm so sorry to hear. Wait, oh my god, are you wearing the tote bag? Do you mind if I get a video of you wearing them? You don't have to show your face if you're not comfortable. Okay, okay. And that's so we're wearing the Hunter Hunter tote bag. Thank you. Season two is coming out. We'll see. I feel like if it if the fandom is alive again, I might yeah. start making more things. But I'm just I'll, like, I'll be here. I'll be <laughs> checking your account. That's what you did last year. You got your skate rings and then you walked in. Oh my gosh, were you the one? I oh my goodness, because I was like, I remember that. You don't watch Haikyuu, you should start. Yeah. Haikyuu's my entire personality. <laughs> no, because I have the first volume. Oh yeah, the manga, read it. <laughs> I told her if she got the mystery bag, whichever fandom comes out in it, she has to watch it next. Oh, she'll do it. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear though. I was like, oh my god, does anyone even know Hunter Hunter anymore? No, it was so cool. I, I remember like, anytime I would walk around with this when I first got it, a lot of people would ask where I got it. And Oh, well, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming by again. Of course. Thank you. I gotta watch Haikyuu. Damn, it was a sign. The signs are all pointing to Haikyuu, so now you must. <laughs> Hello, thank you. <laughs> Have a little, I guess, like yearbook. And whenever I do conventions, I have like. People write stuff in them, and I also will collect things, like this was from our Atlanta trip when we went to the aquarium, some stamp rallies, or any like little little bits and bobs of things. I just think it's so cute to have on hand and have all like the artist friends that you meet or like are reunited with um, writing in your yearbook, and it's just nice to look back to remember which cons I did and like who I met at that convention. It's just it's so it's so it's so cute idea. We have around three hours left of the convention and so far sales for the weekend have been less than ideal. And if I didn't have a bunch of mutual artist friends that I knew here, I think it would have been a really sad weekend for me. I try to give events at least two times to like form a solid opinion on it just because I know the events can vary drastically year to year. This is my second year at LA Comic Con and so far my experience for both years have been the same. Last year I think it was just decent for me but as you keep doing these conventions, you develop a goal per day that you consider your absolute minimum. And I'm personally not hitting those goals for this event. I did make a profit, but it just isn't enough for me to consider this worth my time and energy. So I don't think I'll be returning next year, but I do know that they're changing the dates to the very beginning of October next year. So I'm wondering how that's gonna impact sales. Since the event this year is being held the weekend right after the Black Friday weekend, I wouldn't be surprised if people are just all shopped out and reluctant to spend. Also, LA parking is just really expensive. Like, if you have to spend $30 to $40 on parking alone, that's $30 to $40 less that you have to actually spend in Artist Alley buying merch. So that's also just something to consider regarding the location of this event. I definitely don't think it's a bad convention, and honestly, I think this would be a fun convention 
if you attend it as an attendee. And there's definitely a lot of people here. Like when we came, there's a huge crowd of people queued up to get into the convention itself. But I think there's just all these factors that come into play regarding why sales for this event just might not be the best. And also something else you should consider is the type of merch that you have. I have a lot of anime specific merch and although the Comic Con crowd does tend to also overlap with the anime crowd, I would imagine if you were someone that did like DC or Marvel stuff, you would probably do a bit better at these type of comic cons because the crowd here is looking specifically for those items. Meanwhile, if you're a primarily anime merch artist, you're spending on the fact that the comic con crowd and the anime crowd tends to overlap, so you're not really guaranteed people who are searching anime stuff. Also, I'm really glad that I ended up having a lot of One Piece stuff added to my catalog for this event um, because a lot of my One Piece things have been carrying my sales for this weekend so I think my numbers would have been even worse <laughs> if I had none of my One Piece merch on me and I'm pretty sure the stamp rally that we held also helped with our sales as well. I think another thing that could be impacting sales as well is that I am missing like three of my best sellers in my inventory right now so my Hunter Hunter bags are still being made and on the way to me. I'm out of my Gojo bucket hat which is also being made and on the way to me and I'm also out of the Sunny Acrylic Charms and with two of those things being higher ticket items I can see why not having them both in stock for an event can really impact my sales as well. <laughs>